for that billion people who died, that one sixth of our world population, let's say, wouldn't you consider that a very significant event for that one sixth of the population that dies? It's significant, but the world population just don't die. You know, one of your problems is you come from a first world environment. The dying doesn't happen in your home, which, your neighborhood. Which? Environment, environment, you come from a third world environment? Let me ask the question, thank you. I think you come from a third world environment. May I please? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find that the people living in Africa who are doing the dying have a very different viewpoint than your elitist attitude from the rich and wealthy first world nation. You I don't have an elitist attitude. Of course you do. If you're ready to say one billion people is not a great loss, we can survive, we can survive one third of the Europeans, no problem. We could, we did survive one third of the Europeans dying. In 40 years, the population bounced back from that. But, years, but my friend, the topic is not can we survive having half our people die? Yes, we can perhaps. But the issue is, is that offering a great threat to mankind? As we have one fifth of our population dying, that's a great threat to mankind. It's not saying we're going to destroy all of mankind. We're going to say that we have to be defensive right now against threats to mankind like these diseases. If you pretend they're not a threat, you're not prepared to solve them. Zoom in, zoom in. No boil. But they are not a threat. <laughs> so, what if we release the smallpox vaccine gets released? The smallpox is a the world is a the world is a the is Yes, yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow you got school we in just, your face. You're gonna get school done. We're gonna put that on our face.